for junior patrollers. Lesson one, CPR. Ugh. Never did it on any living person, though. <laughs> Jizia, sorry, sorry. You just woke up and here I am, chatting up a storm. <sighs> Are you all right? Do you feel any discomfort? You can call me Trisha. And she's Yang Yang. by reading the streams in the wind. That's her red. It may seem all nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my, speak of the devil. <laughs> Shisha.
You saw our sentinel in your memories? Yes, the one we built this statue for. The Oracle Engine Sentinel in Zhenzhou. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. What the sentinel in Zhenzhou is known as Jue, manifesting in the form of a long, like the statue you just saw. Sentinels are present where civilizations thrive. Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting sentinels. Records state the sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Now they are each responsible for a part of Huanglong. Naturally, there are sentinels in other regions too, but fewer compared to Huanglong. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magistrate of Zhenzhou. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chizia oh. might be in danger. Rover, please. of a beacon. It can protect you from danger sometimes. Rover, could you hand me your terminal for a moment? Rover, could... Rover, could... Rover, could you hand me your terminal for a moment? Ah, <sighs> done. Its design and system version are different from ours, but your terminal still has the data transfer and other basic functions. Around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. 
<laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very... Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Baijia here. Where is she? We just got here. But I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. So it appeared while we weren't looking? Like in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? The center of the tacit field. Isn't that Baja? fields of a dormant period. During this time, it is relatively safe. The dormant period of a tacit field varies based on its formation time. Generally, the shorter the formation time, the longer the dormant period. However, with a longer dormant period, the tacit discords born within are usually stronger. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. Right. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use a glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it.
your weakness. Bad timing. One more time. Charge complete. There's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when I detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an Overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it does. 
doesn't work. No worries. You can start with smaller ones before tackling this guy here. There should be some sweet baby roche rooms around here. Let's go check those out, shall we? <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condensed the primordial essence, creating Pangu, cleaving heaven and earth apart. They aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong, as provinces were first demarcated. There was a very strong person way back, like they held the whole universe right in their hands. As there was no terminal in those days, they absorbed the tacit discords with their bare hands. And the TD they absorbed was the most powerful of all. That person turned it into the first echo ever. Then they used the power of that echo to rebuild the world, sort out the laws, and that's how the history of Huang Long began. Actually, I'm not. I hope I was, though. Those were just some old tales my parents used to tell me, kind of like the Sentinel's appointment thing. Yang Yang's got an impressive memory for the ancient texts. Me, I just happen to roughly remember what the story's about. Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago, when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover's like the great, 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 great granny of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. to all of Genjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. 
The festivities are highly anticipated by our people, and I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jingzhou has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huanglong. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens, that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huanglong. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the City Hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinjo to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises. Why do I get this feeling? This person our magistrate was talking about. As Rover. Now you're talking a little like Baijiu, Rover. Hey, that ain't the point, okay? What are your plans now, Rover? you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the magistrate's message, it seems Chen Zhou has a lot to do with your past. Whether you were the visitor our magistrate mentioned or not, you are surely important to Chen Zhou, and you will be our important... Friend! We've already entrusted our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together. And that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> anyway, once we're back in Jinjo, I'll treat you that famous specialty from Panwa's restaurant. It would be best for your well-being to have a thorough